Madam Speaker, before I begin my remarks, let me extend my heartfelt gratitude to Chairwoman Slaughter for her years of struggle to bring about this day and let everyone know that on this day, May 1st of 2008, we are beginning to apply our constitutional rights to protect us against discrimination to health care so that one day very soon, equal protection may mean equal treatment. I rise today in strong support of Rule H.R. 493, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, and the underlying legislation. As a physician and a geneticist, I fully understand the critical need to prohibit discrimination based on an individual's genetic profile. Specifically, this bipartisan, Republican-supported and Democrat-supported bill would prohibit employers from using genetic screening results in hiring, in assigning, and promoting people at work. It would also bar insurers from making coverage choices or setting premiums based on results of such genetic testing. By establishing these protections, H.R. 493 will allow every citizen and their physicians to benefit and participate in the progress that gene therapies provide for all of us in early treatment and prevention of countless afflictions while maintaining their essential insurance coverage. And perhaps in the near future, I'll be able to rise here on the House floor and ask that we support legislation to bring an end to all forms of discrimination in health care. And after all, our constitutional rights to protect us against discrimination should be applied to the area of health care throughout the industry, not just, to dis not just to genetic information, not just to one's skin color or one's skin chemistry or the content and structure of one's bones, but to everything on the human condition and every pre-existing condition. Let's begin to put discrimination where it belongs in the past. We are moving very quickly out of this information age into a time when physicians will be able to diagnose and even treat your condition before you feel it. In closing, I urge my colleagues to support the rule and vote in favor of this important and tremendously progressive bill. The gentleman's time is